Hey guys, welcome back. If you're planning to buy the OnePlus 5T, so this video will help you definitely to decide which of the variant you should go. Now we all know that there are two variants, the 6GB RAM variant with the and the next to the 8GB RAM. And definitely you're going to get more storage on the 128, this 8GB RAM variant. We'll talk about that later. So already I have the OnePlus 5, the 8GB RAM variant. So as of now for this video, you can just assume this is OnePlus 5T because of both the phones share the same processor, same the UFS 2.1 and the same kind of storage thing. So uh, this is OnePlus 5T 6 GB RAM variant. This is OnePlus 5T aka OnePlus 5 8 GB RAM variant. So which one you should go with? Now as a common man, everybody or just an LA man, if you are definitely you should be thinking if you have the more amount of RAM, you should be working faster. So yeah, you can say that yeah, if really the difference is too much, but I will say here that that there is no difference at all this is the device i'm using from two days and this device i'm using for the four month and even after the four month of the usage it's working as great as the day one i am not noticing at all the same here in the these devices so among in these two devices I, I won't see any difference you know in terms of launching application in terms of resuming the memory and everything is just super exceptional super great so let's do a quick speed test and see the results first then we'll talk about the later which one you should buy or which one you should not buy. So guys, a quick a softer version of both the phones, OnePlus 5T with a 6GB RAM variant updated to the latest 4.7.2. On the other hand, the OnePlus 5 with the 8GB RAM variant updated to the 4.5.14, the latest one. So starting our test with the real life here. So the idea behind this test is that uh, if you're just unlocking your phone a lot of times in a day and whenever you unlock, you just go and uh, just try to resume so many applications or launch so many application games. So, Definitely a uh, second's difference will matter to you, so, but still these two devices are so great and uh, there may be a difference of one or two seconds, you know, uh, I'm not saying uh, one of the devices will be always faster, it's just possible depends on apps and games in network bandwidth too, but here you can get a quick idea because I try to do this t test many times and I do not want difference of more than 5 to 10 seconds max, this is just kind of a way in that, so as you can see here both the phones are launching it's uh, apps and games are pretty quicker here so on some place you will see that oneplus 5t is faster on some place oneplus 5 but at the end what matters is that how much seconds difference do we have because you know some applications like the web applications they take maybe based on the network connectivity issues uh, so that's why the, you may get some kind of seconds different so anyway i'm just uh, taking in an average way but this is the uh, one i have tried three to four times then i'm showing you here we are about the completed test test result here so as you can see the OnePlus 5 finishes the job first with a 2 minute 13 seconds overall and on the other hand the OnePlus 5T with the difference of 5 seconds only 4 seconds and some 50 milliseconds also guys this is your a quick uh, real life test now moving ahead with the speed test I'm just going to launch uh, the application both the phones so these are running the default launcher the I guess the 4 2.1.6 I'm not sure what the version number so starting with the Facebook so like I said uh, it depends on your network speed too, but it's still launching on very quick on both the phones that just near about at the same time Loading time may be uh, you know a little bit different Twitter again uh, slightly faster on the right side one plus five Instagram about at the same time so small applications they don't make much difference now moving ahead I'm just going to launch the games so temple and two here so just neck and neck moving exactly in the same way OnePlus 5 seems to be slightly faster here but uh, at the end you can see up to the final game uh, just a millisecond difference nothing too much about that so if you are playing games also even so speed will be same subway surfer so it should be pretty much same so a splash screen is slightly faster as we have seen in both the cases but at the end there is a difference of only milliseconds and uh, maybe this could be the extra two gigabytes of RAM variant but really this milliseconds difference is not too much and pokemon go guys is completely i don't know what this game is uh, just unpredictable sometimes it is there in the memory sometimes it is in a not even the my me even with the four gigabytes RAM variant sometimes kept this thing and sometimes it doesn't so i'm just taking this application because i've used this earlier otherwise it's not i'm just planning to change the mario next game is the dead trigger 2 so exactly same time no difference at all and the slight delay on the 5d side x 8 so splash screen we have seen is slightly faster in all the cases just a millisecond faster 
not uh, seconds only I just they, they just launched the same time so moving ahead we have some uh, chrome web shortcuts this is youtube.com probably loading loading some web pages so you can see next we have the twitter.com these are chrome shortcuts actually they represent the chrome and uh, the behind the engine now settings almost the same time both the phones camera same time slightly faster on the 5 one plus 5 and checking for the flash and here's the one so on the uh, one plus 5 you will see like it's not taking photo but yeah still the flash is turning on you can just notice on the center so both the phones are pretty quick in taking photos i will say that definitely it's true so now let's resume the games application see which one uh, is keeping more apps and games in the memory so facebook in there in the memory youtube let's see it's still in the memory so oneplus 5 is also resuming slightly faster i will say that not too much and as i said here guys this could be some oxygenous problem too because 4.702 is kind of a new and 4.514 is very very stable one so whenever a device new comes up they have some issues so this is important the phone uh, you know uh, let's see which phone keeps all the apps and games in the memory so we'll see first game is in the memory next is the subway surfer and here it is both are in the memory now about the pokemon go next like i said guys it is uh, not predictable it can be there it cannot be not so in case of uh, my one plus five uh, i don't remember like anytime it happens the pokemon go is not in the memory but here you can see so yeah there could be two reasons maybe it has lesser time but even my one plus three is keeping most of the times uh, the pokemon go in the memory so i won't say that this is a ram issue this is definitely something with the so maybe after some time we will do a retest when the version is quite stable that trigger too so as you can see uh, the heavy games are still in the memory so that could be temporary oxygen which we will verify that again x 8 so same place no problem so uh, the, both devices are have very great memory management too so let's do a quick retest between the pokemon go i'm just going to resume all the five games again just to make sure whether let's see if the pokemon go is there in the memory at this time or not temple and two should be there in the memory yes it is there the guy is still on the same with the one leg that dude again next is uh subway surfer yeah i suspected same place because you know i kind of believe that they will keep. now let's see i'm hoping this time should be there so as you can see this time pokemon goes in there so definitely it's not related with the ram also that's why i'm just to showing you guys the retest here and yeah that trigger tools again on the memory so right here you can see on the on screen navigation bars has some kind of issues you guys to slide each time just a tip i'm showing you and yes x 8 is in the memory so as we have seen there is nothing related to the ram it's just with the os happens now next to the benchmarking comparison so i'm going to start first with the nt2 so i never ran on the oneplus 5t is the first time i'm going to run it so old one is 178k and by the time it is running let's start with the geek benchmark comparison so here it is so starting the test in three two and the one so we should be completing this first and here it is our key benchmark about to complete on the both the phones so what's the score uh, quite near quite near not too much difference pretty close result for both the phones here now let's check out our n2 benchmark result what's the story behind there so 180 and just tell you guys the scores keeps on changing so guys this is your benchmarking test and comparison so guys here's the conclusion as we have seen on the real life test there is a difference of couple of seconds only and in terms of launching application like we have seen uh, they both are launching at the near about at the same time there's no difference at all there were some few issues with the pokemon go related to the memory management but that is uh, believe me it is a kind of a temporary glitch because you know i have the oneplus 3 the older one it it still ke keeps all the apps and games in the memory because i used to do the same set application in all the phones so just forget about that thing uh, it's kind of a temporary issues it's not like that you know you have a gigabyte ram variant it's keeping all the games so if you have the six all of my devices 3 cg 5 5t they are just uh, holding all the apps and games in the memory now which one you should go with number one thing uh, if you are planning to use the oneplus 5t for at least two years then try to go with the a gigabyte ram variant the reason being obviously you need more storage in up to the two year lifetime you're going to copy so many things so definitely 64 is less because there's no sd card and the second thing is that if you have the more amount of ram definitely it's a future proof not in today uh, all the devices are coming with 8.1 maybe from the next year 
uh, most many devices will be coming with the a gigabytes ram variant so you should be having the good number of ram you can easily catch up with the upcoming devices so that is one of the advantage only i will say that now if you are just kind of casual user you don't bother about so much storage so uh, go with the six one save lot of monies and buy in so many accessories or use whatever do you wanted to so guys uh, there it is uh, thank you so much for watching for and considering this oneplus 5 as a 5t obviously i cannot afford getting all the devices like just for the speed test so once again thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you very soon have a great day